fucking awesome level. Let's go. Thank God I flipped that from 58, because if I hadn't, I was going to be fucking pissed. Okay, good. Was I recording for that? Yes, I was. Good. Okay. This level's really... 1338 is actually my final attempt, because I didn't get a copy. Oh, one attempt sooner. Uh, that was interesting. I didn't hate that, but there were parts of it I hated. Um... Like I say, the, the, the second half of this level has a few weird clicks and a few terrible choke points, but outside <coughs> outside of those, the second half is fine. I don't love it, but it's presentable, it's acceptable, right? Like, it's it's good enough, right? Uh, the red orb and black orb at like 63-ish were pretty rough choke points. The wave at 58 wasn't my favorite, but it was fine. Uh, the blue orb in the one ball right before the eyeball shoots a laser was like kind of weird and I didn't quite get it, but it worked most of the time, so I just kind of banked on it not killing me from zero. It could have, but you know, it didn't, so that was good. Um, what else in the ending was kind of choke point worthy? The one wave was weird. I don't know what you were supposed to do for that one wave. It starts with the two really fast mini wave clicks, and then there's just like a structure on top, a structure on bottom with spikes, and you become big wave. And it's like, do I do four really fast clicks? Do I do a two click? I tried a three click, and that seemed to work for a really long while. It was very consistent in practice, and then all of a sudden it stopped working. So I tried the two click method. That seemed to be more consistent. I don't know. Um, the UFO at the end, the first two clicks are kind of annoying because it teleports you to the middle of the portal, which, like, is fine. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But you have to click, like, frame one on the yellow portal. You have no time to, like, get into that yellow portal at all. So you can end up clicking really early and clicking before the yellow portal and then going up. Or you can get in the yellow portal a little, click, and be too late, right? So you had to click that as soon as possible, and I got very lucky that I didn't die to that. Um... But, like I say, most of that stuff's manageable, right? Like, it could definitely lead to a really shitty experience, but, like, if you get it down, it's okay. Like, it's fine. Um, but the one part that starts at, like, 30-ish? Fucking disastrous. Like, I'm sorry to whoever made that part, but it's just not fun. It's super janky. So much of the gameplay comes from holding and then really quickly letting go and holding again, which is just not fun. It didn't feel synced with anything in any way. The first red orb in that part is probably the hardest click of the level by a landslide. It didn't sync with anything in the song. It didn't have any good visual indicator. It just felt impossible. Um, so much of the rest of that part was also janky. The little three-click duel before the Arcturus 2 wave clicks, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the little three-click duel before that wave was super annoying because the second click of the three fast clicks, you go up as the spider, right? You teleport from bottom layer to top layer as the spider, and there's a teleport portal that brings you back down if you click too early, which I think was supposed to be a bug fix for the first click, it didn't end up being that at all. It just made the second click really annoying, right? And you could have just moved the portal. The, the way that it was set up, you could have taken that teleport portal, shifted it up a little bit, and then this, it wouldn't have affected the second click while also fixing the first click. You know what I mean? It was just, it just felt super janky and unnecessary. Um, 
It's actually the two click wave after that duel was not consistent at all in practice until suddenly it became consistent and I don't know why. I think I just was luckily doing it right a bunch of times in a row. I really do. It was bizarre. Um, the very beginning, like the very beginning, the first part, the two times where you have to hit the pink orb after jumping off of the pad, the platform below you is moving up. And if you, you're you on, I don't know why I need to keep saying this, this should be common knowledge, but if you're on a platform that's moving up, and there's a jump pad that jumps you off of that platform, you can click in mid-air to jump again until you start falling. So the whole up curve off of the yellow pad, you can click and do a normal jump. So instead of that pink orb after that first yellow pad being like a buffer click, like I'm sure it was when it was a layout, it's now a really annoying timing because I can either click like the second I hit that yellow pad and be fine because I do a full jump, like a full cube jump, or I can click right as I hit the pink orb and be fine. But if I click in between those two, I'm doing a full jump just before the pink orb, so I die, which is just like dumb, right? It's like, how did no one catch that in playtesting, especially considering it's at like 2%. Like, if it was at 94, and the verifier got lucky and didn't die to it, I'm like, okay, maybe I could see that being something that gets missed. But it's at fucking 2. Like, you're doing it every attempt. How do you not notice it fucking blows? It was just mind-blowing to me. The whole first cube was just kind of uh, awkward. Um, a lot of the section from, like, the drop to... The, the transition into the drop being fucking blind was not fun, but like I say, it's at 7, I can live through it, right? Uh, but like that, like, 7, 8-ish to uh, 30 was mostly fine. There were a few moments that were whatever, but like I say, that part at 30 is a disgrace. Like, I genuinely could not stand playing it. When I was trying to learn it, it got to the point where I had that, like, anticipatory hatred feeling. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but, like, if you're in a conversation and someone's stumbling over their words and you know what they're trying to say, but they can't say it, you know that, like, angst you feel, right? Like, someone's fucking stumbling, they, like, forgot the word for something, or they're, like, tripping over their words, whatever. And you know exactly what they're trying to say, but if you jump in, you're gonna be an asshole, right? So you have to let them just stumble over their shit for, like, ten seconds. You know that feeling you get, where you feel like you need to, like, you know, like, very, like, you, you, like, you need to be out of your skin for, like, that those ten seconds. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe that only happens to me. But that was the feeling I had playing that part. So if you can at all relate to that feeling, like, that's how bad it was, right? Like, I had to fucking take the palms of my hands and rub them down my thighs. I was like, oh, I'm getting, like, fucking antsy, dude. It was awful. It was awful to learn. It was awful to play. Aside from that part, most of this is fine. So I will say, if you can get that one part down and really get consistent at the terrible choke points, this is manageable. It's a very easy extreme if this is your kind of extreme. I could easily see certain players out there with a certain kind of skill set knocking this out in half of the attempts that it takes them for most other extremes, right? Like if you're good at flow gameplay, if you just want to memorize the click pattern and get it down, I could easily see this taking someone like half their usual attempt count. For me, this isn't quite my strong suit, so 1338, that's around what I've been at for entry level extremes. I would say this is a extreme, um, mostly because the few wave parts throughout are very, very difficult, and there are some really, really surprisingly tight timings in here as well. Uh, so I, I do think this is extreme, I think it's a very easy one, and if it looks like it might be up your alley, give it a go, it wasn't terrible. Uh, like I said, there was one really, really bad part, lots of individual clicks were very unfortunate, um, but, you know, not the worst thing I've played, not the best. It was a level, and I beat it, so there you go. That is all. I'm going to cut the recording here now. Oh, wait, one last thing. The LDM was terrible. I was lagging, like, the whole time. I don't capture my Steam FPS counter, but I was lagging quite a bit uh, the whole way through the level, which didn't overly matter because, like I say, there were very few terribly tight timings that I needed to very precisely, like, input. Um, but there, there were times where I was dropping, like, half my frames. Just so anyone knows, the LDM is a joke. Whatever. I'm gonna cut the recording here now.